Brigitte Rubel is the Parliament's new Chief Usher. She's the first woman to head the Plenary Assistance Services, as it's called in Bundestag jargon. The ushers are the usually invisible force that keeps things running smoothly. Brigitte Rubel has access to all the holy places. We find ourselves in what is called the Presidium. And this is not a reliquary casket, but just an ordinary fridge. This is where we keep the water for the speakers. Early in the morning, she gets important equipment ready. That's the president's bell. And then in there, let's get it out, the original crochet coaster in the national colors. It's for the parliamentary president and nobody else. It's always been like that, and it's not going to change. The parliamentary chamber is very modern, but some traditions have been around for a long time, and it's good that they're still being followed and not changed. You can set your watch by the appearance of the parliamentary president at exactly one minute to nine. Should we enter holding hands? <laughs> sure, and how is Ms. Rubel? She's a daily source of motivation. <laughs> Do women make stricter bosses? In general, yes. But not here, that's why I feel so at ease. Perhaps an usher's highest honor is to escort the president into the chamber at the start of the session. Not that he needs support, it's just one of those little traditions. The session has commenced, please take your seats. Brigitte Rubel has been working at the Bundestag for 11 years. Before that, she was a dentist's assistant. But her job here, she says, is very similar. Serving people, only in front of a much larger crowd. I was so nervous the first time I entered the plenary chamber to hand something to one of the members of parliament. I'd only seen it on TV, in the news. And suddenly I was going in there myself. It was a very different feeling. For a long time, only men could serve that obligatory glass of water. While the rest of Germany is busy debating quotas for women in the professions, the Bundestag administration has taken the initiative and appointed a woman chief usher. There are still parliaments that don't have any women ushers. France, Italy and Spain. And there are none in the European Parliament either. They're all men. Here at the Bundestag, there are more women than men now. Ladies and gentlemen, the session runs until 10 minutes to 12. During the session, please do not wave, call, clap or anything else. But it's still mostly male ushers who deal with visitors. The subject of sleep. You won't be bored here, but you were up early, had a long journey. It's nice and cool outside and rather warm in here. So however exciting the topic might be, you will eventually start to fade. Don't fight it, just get up and leave. And wait here for the others. Are women stricter than men? Let's put it this way, they're more disciplined. Not stricter, it's like at home. This goes there and has to stay there. If you move it, put it back where it belongs. Here we see Chancellor Merkel and Ms. Rubel close by. Being so close to power doesn't shake the usher's confidence any longer. She knows that her way of doing things, in keeping with tradition, is much valued. I think the members of parliament really do value our work. When they're here in the chamber, their staff cannot come in and talk to them. Only we are allowed in, so they depend on us as intermediaries. We're done here. You can lock up again. 
Though there's some debate about updating the ushers' uniforms, a minor tweak, nothing more, everything else will remain as it's always been, for the sake of tradition.